Here are the five reasons you need to get more and better quality sleep tonight. I can't tell you how many times I hear, oh, I never sleep more than five or six hours. And maybe it's somebody in their 40s or 50s or 60s or even 70s and they've had decades of this. Well, I can assure you that that person probably is starting to have some maybe back pain or maybe they don't have as much energy as they used to have or maybe it's even more severe like they're on some random medication for high cholesterol or something in that category because I can tell you there's only 5% of the population that needs to get less than 5 hours of sleep a night and unless you've been tested for it and you know then you do need seven to nine hours. My name is Julia Lundstrom. I'm a neuroscience and brain health educator. And in case you want more information on how to get a better night's sleep, go ahead and at the bottom, we have a link to a free workshop I put on called the New Science of Age-Related Sleep Problems. So you can click that and sign up, it's all free. But what I wanna to talk to you today is about the five reasons you need to get a better quality of sleep and more sleep tonight. The first is, what does sleep do to your memory? Well, sleep is the time, most scientists can agree at this point, where your memories, they consolidate, they, they stick. So let's say you're going throughout your day, you've had an amazing day, or you've needed to study and learn something, and you're only getting about five hours sleep. Well, guess what? That other couple hours would have given you more time to have all those memories, those lessons that, you know, maybe you had a great adventure day. Those memories just are never going to stick. They just go away forever, right? Because you didn't give your brain enough time to have those memories stick in there. They transfer from short-term memory into long-term memory. So that's reason number one. Number two is at nighttime, that's when the cleaning crew comes out. Every single time you have a thought, every single time you move a muscle, the neurotransmitters in your brain leave a little bit of trash behind. And the cleaning crew comes out at night and there, you know, they're digging up the potholes, paving them over, they're cleaning the graffiti off the wall, the little cleaning, magic cleaning crew in your brain at night comes out and helps clean up all that trash, that neuro trash. Well, again, if you're only sleeping five hours and you need to get seven to nine, Guess what? Every single night, over decades and decades and decades, you've left just a little bit of trash and a little bit of trash. And over time, that can pile up to look like a dump. No wonder you feel sluggish. No wonder those memory recalls are coming slower and slower and you're getting the, the tip of the tongue moments. You don't know what to say. You can't find the word, those super embarrassing moments. That's number two. Number three is energy oh man i can't tell you how many people come to me and i have low energy i just can't find the the strength to get out of bed in the morning and do what i really want to do and i've just kind of given up doing things that used to be fun for me because they take so much energy again it goes back to your sleep and i'm not just talking about the quantity i do mention that a lot seven to nine hours is what the average person needs. I'm a nine hour girl myself. I'm talking about the quality as well. So if you're getting up multiple times in the night and can't get back to sleep or you're tossing and turning all night or if you're like me and you have a little one that just does not sleep through the night, you need more sleep. There are often times I'll sleep 10 hours and usually it's because I've been woken up many times throughout the night by my little one or um, I just had something on my mind and I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't go back to sleep or I had to go to the bathroom and I couldn't go back to sleep. I make sure I get those seven to nine quality hours and yet yeah, it stinks but sometimes that means being in bed for 10 hours. So the third reason, so, uh, that was number three, that the fourth reason that you need to get more better quality sleep is it gives the rest of your body a chance to repair. So maybe you've had a good workout and those muscles need a chance to heal. So if over decades you haven't given the rest of your body a chance to heal at night, guess what? Now all of a sudden you're having back pain. Now all of a sudden you go out and you play a sport and you sprain an ankle faster. Maybe you strain a muscle faster. 
you know, everything you do, or, or maybe your walking gets slower, you're not able to go walk faster. There's a direct correlation on the speed of how fast you can walk and your brain health and memory. So you want to make sure that when you go out on a walk, you're, you're walking at a nice clip. You're not walking like a really slow older person, right? Direct correlation. So it, it, it repairs the rest of your body. Decades and decades of not getting enough sleep, your body is slowly decaying and falling apart because you're just not giving it that healing time. You need your body to be able to heal at night. And the fifth and final reason for getting more better quality sleep starting tonight is your executive function. I'm talking about focus, concentration, coming up with ideas, being creatively genius. You cannot get to that point where you're feeling the sharpest you can be without getting a good night's sleep. So there are tons of studies when they're measuring people's brain waves through a meditation and the people that get higher quality sleep and more sleep have higher levels of alpha, which is your creative state and a higher concentration of the levels of alpha. They also have higher levels of gamma, which can actually get you to like this super flow state which you can only get when you have a really good night sleep. So go out there tonight, click on the link below, join the free sleep workshop, uh, learn how to get a good night's sleep because it starts in the morning. Just to give you a little hint, sleep does not start at night. It starts very first thing in the morning. So click the link, join us, and we'll see you in the next video.